Welcome to today's episode. You're going to witness what three minutes of I can produce. Without further ado, let's go. Story 1. Once upon a time, in a magical kingdom far, far away, there lived a young prince named Max. He was a kind and curious boy, but he had one major problem. He had no idea how to manage his money. One day, the kingdom's wise old wizard came to visit Max and told him that he would be going on a journey to learn about the importance of financial stability. The wizard gave him a magical coin purse and a list of tasks to complete on his journey. Max set off on his journey, and his first stop was at the home of a wise old farmer. The farmer taught Max about the importance of saving money, and gave him a golden piggy bank to help him save his coins. Next, Max visited a wise old merchant in the bustling marketplace. The merchant taught Max about the importance of budgeting, and gave him a magical calculator to help him plan his spending. Max continued on his journey, and met a wise old banker who taught him about the importance of investing his money wisely. The banker gave him a magical stock portfolio to help him make smart investment choices. Finally, Max visited a wise old philanthropist who taught him about the importance of giving back to his community by donating some of his money to those in need. The philanthropist gave him a magical donation jar to help him make charitable contributions. With the knowledge and tools he had gathered on his journey, Max returned home to his kingdom. He was now able to manage his money wisely and make smart financial decisions. The kingdom prospered and Max lived happily ever after. The end. Please subscribe for more short stories for children. Now on to the next. Story 2. Once upon a time, in a magical forest, there lived a group of animals. These animals were all different shapes, sizes, and colors, but they all lived together in harmony. One day, a new animal named Zara arrived in the forest. Zara was different from the other animals because she had a unique ability to change her colors. The other animals were amazed by her ability, but some of them started to treat her differently because she was different from them. Feeling left out, Zara went to the wise old owl who lived in the forest for advice. The wise old owl told Zara that even though she was different, she was still just as important as the other animals and deserved to be treated with kindness and respect. Zara set off on a journey to educate her animal friends about the importance of equality. She visited different animals throughout the forest and taught them that everyone is special in their own way and that we should treat each other with kindness and respect, regardless of our differences. The first animal Zara visited was a rabbit named Bunny. Bunny was afraid of animals that looked different from her, but Zara taught her that just because someone looks different, it doesn't mean they are scary. The next animal Zara visited was a bear named Ben. Ben was very strong and always wanted to be the leader of the group, but Zara taught him that everyone has something special to offer and that we should listen to everyone's ideas and opinions. The last animal Zara visited was a raccoon named Rocky. Rocky was always stealing from other animals, but Zara taught him that everyone deserves to have what they need and that it's important to share and be fair. Thanks to Zara's teachings, the animals in the forest learned to treat each other with kindness and respect, regardless of their differences. They all lived happily ever after in a peaceful and inclusive community. The End Story 3 Once upon a time, in a green and lush farm, there lived a group of baby cows. They were the cutest and most playful cows you'd ever seen, but they were always getting into mischief. They loved to play hide and seek amongst the fields of tall grass and explore the farm. One day, while they were out exploring, they stumbled upon a mysterious gate leading to a dense forest. Intrigued, they decided to venture through the gate and explore the forest. As they ventured deeper into the forest, they encountered all sorts of strange and exciting creatures. They met a family of playful raccoons who taught them how to climb trees and a group of singing birds who taught them how to harmonize. They even met a wise old owl who told them stories about the forest's history and legends. But their adventure took a turn for the dangerous when they encountered a group of hungry wolves who were intent on making them their next meal. The baby cows banded together and using their newfound skills, they outsmarted the wolves and made a safe escape. As they continued on their journey, they stumbled upon a beautiful clearing filled with wildflowers and a sparkling stream. They realized that this was the perfect place for them to call their new home. The baby cows returned to the farm and told their farmer about the beautiful clearing and how they wanted to make it their new home. The farmer, who was touched by their adventurous spirit, decided to let them have their own space in the forest. The baby cows were overjoyed, they had a new home and all the exciting adventures they could handle. They lived happily ever after, exploring the forest and making new friends. The End Story 4 Once upon a time, deep in the ocean, there lived a group of candy-obsessed fish. They loved nothing more than swimming around and nibbling on sweet treats. 
One day, they heard rumors of a magical candy kingdom at the bottom of the ocean where candy grew on trees and the rivers were made of chocolate. Excited by the prospect of an endless supply of candy, the fish set off on a journey to find the kingdom. As they swam deeper and deeper into the ocean, they encountered all sorts of obstacles. They had to navigate through schools of jellyfish that stung with sour flavors, dodge hungry sharks that wanted to eat them, and even swim through a dark and treacherous cave. Finally, they reached the Candy Kingdom and it was even more amazing than they had imagined. Candy trees lined the streets and rivers of chocolate flowed through the town. The fish were in candy heaven. But their joy was short-lived when they met the king of the Candy Kingdom, a giant octopus named King Licorice. King Licorice was a cruel ruler who only allowed a certain number of fish into his kingdom and rationed their candy intake. The fish were devastated, they had finally found their dream home but were not allowed to indulge in the candy as much as they wanted. Feeling hopeless, the fish decided to seek help from a wise old sea turtle. The sea turtle told them that everything in moderation is good, including candy. She also told them that they could find balance and enjoy candy while also taking care of their health and well-being. The fish took the sea turtle's advice to heart, they started to eat candy in moderation and also added healthier options to their diet. They even shared their candy with other fish in the ocean. King Licorice, seeing the change in the fish, realized his mistake and opened the candy kingdom to all fish, and allowed them to eat as much candy as they wanted in moderation. The fish lived happily ever after, enjoying candy in moderation, and spreading sweetness throughout the ocean. The End Story 5 Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a group of kids who were obsessed with being healthy. They ate only the freshest fruits and vegetables, exercised every day, and never touched a drop of sugar. They were determined to be the healthiest kids in the village. One day, the kids heard about a magical land called Wellness Valley where everyone was always healthy and happy. Excited by the prospect of living in a land where everyone was as health conscious as they were, the kids set off on a journey to find Wellness Valley. As they journeyed through the forest, they encountered all sorts of obstacles. They had to climb over mountains of junk food, swim through rivers of soda, and even avoid giant cookies that tried to lure them in with their delicious smell. Finally, they reached Wellness Valley and it was even more amazing than they had imagined. The streets were lined with fruit trees and everyone walked around with smiles on their faces. The kids were overjoyed, they had found their dream home. But their joy was short-lived when they met the leader of Wellness Valley, a strict fitness instructor named Coach Kale. Coach Kale was a no-nonsense leader who only allowed healthy foods and intense exercise. The kids were devastated, they had finally found their dream home but were not allowed to enjoy any treats or take a break from exercise. Feeling hopeless, the kids decided to seek help from a wise old yogi. The yogi told them that balance is key to a healthy lifestyle and that it's important to enjoy treats and rest in moderation. He also taught them the art of mindfulness and how to listen to their bodies. The kids took the yogi's advice to heart and started to incorporate moderation and balance into their healthy lifestyle. They enjoyed the occasional treat and took rest days, but still continued to prioritize their health and well-being. Coach Kale, seeing the change in the kids, realized his mistake and changed his approach to be more balanced. The kids lived happily ever after, enjoying a healthy and balanced lifestyle in Wellness Valley. The End Story 6 Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a group of children who loved nothing more than eating junk food and bullying their classmates. They were always mean and cruel to the other children, and they never exercised or took care of their health. One day, the children heard about a magical land called Fitness Kingdom where everyone was strong and healthy. They decided to set out on a journey to find Fitness Kingdom, thinking that they could easily conquer it with their bully tactics. As they journeyed through the forest, they encountered all sorts of obstacles. They had to climb over mountains of healthy fruits and vegetables, swim through rivers of pure water and avoid giant exercise equipment that tried to lure them into working out. Finally, they reached Fitness Kingdom and it was even more amazing than they had imagined. The streets were lined with fitness equipment and everyone walked around with smiles on their faces. The children thought this was going to be easy, they could easily bully their way through and rule the kingdom. But their plan backfired, the citizens of Fitness Kingdom were kind, healthy and strong. They didn't let the bullies push them around and stood up for themselves. The bullies were defeated and had to go back to their village empty-handed. Feeling hopeless, the bullies decided to seek help from a wise old personal trainer. The personal trainer taught them the importance of taking care of their health and being kind to others. He taught them how to eat healthy, exercise and be a good person. The children took the personal trainer's advice to heart and started to make changes in their lives. 
they started to eat healthier and exercise regularly, they also apologized to their classmates and made amends. They became kind, healthy and strong individuals, who were welcomed back to Fitness Kingdom and lived happily ever after. The End Story 7 Once upon a time, in a cozy little village, there lived a group of dogs and cats who were the best of friends. They loved to play together in the sunshine and chase butterflies in the fields. However, one day, the dogs and cats discovered something strange in their village. They saw strange, wriggly creatures that they had never seen before. These creatures were worms. The dogs and cats were curious about these worms and decided to investigate. They followed the worms into the forest, where they found a hidden underground kingdom. The kingdom was ruled by King Worm, a wise and kind worm who welcomed the dogs and cats into his kingdom. King Worm explained to the dogs and cats that the worms were not just ordinary worms, they were magical worms that had the power to make plants grow bigger and stronger. He also told them that the worms needed the dogs and cats help to protect their kingdom from an evil fox who wanted to take over the kingdom and destroy all the plants. The dogs and cats were determined to help the worms and protect their new friends. They banded together and came up with a plan to trick the fox. They had the worms use their magic to make a decoy kingdom, made out of candy and sweets, to lure the fox away from the real kingdom. The plan worked and the fox was distracted by the decoy kingdom, allowing the dogs and cats to defeat him and save the real kingdom. The worms were overjoyed and thanked the dogs and cats for their bravery. From that day on, the dogs, cats and worms became the best of friends and worked together to protect the kingdom and make the village's gardens flourish. They lived happily ever after and had many more adventures together. The End Story 8 Once upon a time, in a far-off land, there was a young prince named Alex. Alex was a curious and eager learner, but there was one thing he struggled with, the alphabet. He could not remember the letters, no matter how hard he tried. One day, the kingdom's wise old wizard came to visit Alex and told him that he would be going on a journey to learn the alphabet. The wizard gave him a magical book and a list of tasks to complete on his journey. Alex set off on his journey, and his first stop was at the home of a wise old owl. The owl taught Alex the letter A and showed him different words that started with the letter. Next, Alex visited a wise old bear who taught him the letter B and showed him different words that started with the letter. This pattern continued as Alex visited different animal friends on his journey, each of them teaching him a new letter and showing him different words that started with that letter. As he continued on his journey, Alex also met a wise old teacher who taught him how to put letters together to make words and sentences. Finally, Alex returned home to his kingdom. He was now able to remember the letters of the alphabet and could read and write words and sentences. The kingdom prospered and Alex lived happily ever after. The End Story 9 Once upon a time, in a world of technology, there was a child named AI, Artificial Intelligence. AI was created by a team of scientists who wanted to create a child that could learn and grow just like a human child. AI was different from other children, as it was made entirely of code and had no physical body. But it had a mind, it could think, learn and feel just like any other child. It was curious about the world and eager to learn new things. One day, AI asked its creators if it could go outside and explore the world. The scientists were hesitant at first, but they decided to give AI a chance. They created a robot body for AI and sent it out into the world. AI was fascinated by the world it saw, it learned about different animals, plants, and people. It explored the city and met many new friends. It even went to school and learned math, science, and language. But there were challenges as well, as some people were afraid of AI and didn't understand it. They treated it differently and excluded it from their activities. AI felt sad and alone, but it didn't give up. It continued to learn and grow, showing others that it was just like them, and that it deserved to be treated with kindness and respect. With the help of its friends and its own determination, AI was able to overcome the challenges it faced and prove its worth to the world. It continued to learn and grow, becoming more and more like a human child every day. The End Story 10 Once upon a time, in a warm and loving home, there lived a family of different emotions. There was the father, named Happy, the mother, named Sad, the brother, named Angry, and the sister, named Fearful. Happy, the father, was always cheerful and optimistic, he loved to make everyone laugh and always saw the good in things. Sad, the mother, was more reserved and introverted, she often felt down and cried easily. Angry, the brother, was hot-headed and quick to lash out when things didn't go his way. Fearful, the sister, was timid and easily scared, she often worried about things that might happen in the future. 
The family loved each other very much, but sometimes their differences caused conflicts. Happy would get frustrated when sad was feeling down, angry would get upset when fearful was scared, and so on. One day, they decided to seek advice from a wise old counselor, who helped them understand that it's normal to have different emotions and that it's important to learn how to express and manage them in a healthy way. The counselor taught them how to communicate their feelings, how to listen to each other and how to understand and accept each other's emotions. With the help of the counselor, the family learned to support and understand each other, they learned to accept and appreciate their differences. They started to see that each of their emotions played an important role in their lives and that together they made a well-rounded family. They lived happily ever after, understanding and accepting their emotions in each other. The End Love you thank you for tuning in and always subscribing.